The militia were essentially the citizen soldiers in the Revolutionary War. Um, militiamen were required to, to provide their own weapons. Most had a fouling piece, uh, a flintlock rifle or, or essentially a shotgun uh, uses a locking firing method. Uh, Locked firing uh, The hammer strikes a metal plate and it ignites a spark, which uh, through a little hole here uh, ignites the gunpowder in the barrel of the weapon and fires it. Um, most militiamen would have had a shot bag and a powder horn. Uh, some of the soldiers, uh, militiamen, had leftover muskets, mil military weapons. Um, they may have had a cartridge box. Uh, essentially, the regular troops had cartridge boxes with prepared uh, cartridges for firing, but most militiamen would have had a powder horn. Um, and the regulations that most of the soldiers learned were sort of dumbed down for the militia. They had a more simplified version, uh, which they learned uh, through drill, but militiamen were not well-trained military soldiers. And, uh, Men, shoulder, fire locks. Prime and load. It's a laborious process to load a fire lock. A soldier, a military man, who's been through lots of training would have been much faster. But these are the farmers. Not uh, just regular citizens in the back country. Make ready. Present. In most uh, of the battles in this time with militiamen, they rarely got off more than one or two shots before they retired or retreated. In many of the battles, like Calpins, later Gilbert Courthouse, the militia were strategically used as sort of the front line and fired one or two shots and then moved back with Continental soldiers behind them. Make ready, present, fire! One of the reasons the militiamen didn't stay long in the field and fire is that they were often overrun by British soldiers with bayonets. And you see in the process and time it takes to load, a large army could close in on you pretty quickly. Back ready! Present, fire! 